Hi, I'm Kyle from Kirksville Web Design, and today I'm going to give a brief tutorial uh, for Google Sites on using collapsible groups. Now, collapsible groups are very handy for showing and hiding information. Uh, typically, when you have a, a bulk of information uh, that you need to be able to toggle between showing and hiding it, just because it would be overwhelming to have too much information on the page. So typically collapsible groups can be useful for uh, FAQ sections or uh, Wikipedia type of pages. So if we see here I'm in edit mode on a Google site. If I look over on the right hand panel to a collapsible group, that's where I can insert it by clicking here. And that will automatically give me a, a heading and a another text block with regular paragraph style text. Now that is one way of inserting a collapsible group. The other way is if you have happen to have two text boxes over each other, uh, then you can select those two together and collapse and set up the collapsible group. So you see here two text blocks. I select them both and collapse them. Uh, similarly, with collapsible groups, you can set it up with an image. So we could have some text in here, select this block, and collapse it. So then we get a, an arrow, which indicates you can select this image uh, in view mode and expand it to show the text below. So same thing here with the, uh, the arrow or the caret that denotes you can expand this to show more information. So that is collapsible groups. Let me make sure, and you can also set it up that you have a, uh, let's say a heading, and then we'll insert another image, or we'll copy this image, how about that? Copy this image, bring it below. Yeah, so you can have an, a heading with an image that's uh, underneath that to expand with another text block. So, it's important to know how you can interact with these classical groups for um, you know, developing your page content, and I, I hope that was helpful. Thank you.